guys welcome back to my channel so today we are creating this look here I'm so happy with how this turned out I'm not gonna show you the inspo pic just yet because I feel like once you see that you're gonna be like not really the same I was heavily inspired by Mary Phillips most recent work that she did on Haley and it's this photo right here when I saw this I became obsessed with this look I started searching all over social media hoping and praying that Mary would post like a product breakdown of the look because I genuinely became so obsessed I was like I need that lip color I need whatever's on her eyes that blush whatever it is like give it to me but of course Mary's probably a very busy out. took it upon myself and I was like okay I this is like very soft glam it's a little up my alley but obviously I have no skill level compared to Mary Phillips so I was like let's just try it and I sat down and filmed today's video for you guys and it took me a very long time this is by far the longest makeup tutorial I've ever done that's taken this long I really tried to stick it through and I almost gave up and like washed my face but something was telling me like just pull through you can do it still really happy even though it's not exactly the way I wanted it to turn out but I hope you guys enjoy all of the products that I use in today's video will be listed down below for you guys and if there are any other looks you want me to create any celebrity makeup looks that you have seen that you kind of are inspired by and would like to see maybe my take on it let me know down in the comments below so if you guys want to see how to get this look then just keep on watching I think we should go ahead and get started. I'm going to prep my skin, which is always like the most important part. Also, it's like the rainiest, stormiest day ever. So, um, maybe I should put my hair down. My makeup prep always consists of this. It's the Kosas Plump and Juicy. And I, it has skincare in it. It's just overall really great. It's a collagen spray. I'm gonna use the Niacinamide Glow do drops. Let's do about a pump and a half. And this is a really great product to lay under your makeup because look at just like how amazing your skin looks. And then I'm going to use some moisturizer. I'm just using the Outset Nourishing Daily Moisturizer. I'm just going to prep my eyes really quickly really want to try it's from Jillian Dempsey it's the spot stick concealer and mine's in number seven this rain is reminding me of Singapore so much the rain is so heavy and I feel like here we don't get rain this heavy a little bit of powder just to help set this so I'm just gonna take from the Mario Master Mats. I'm gonna grab this shade right here. I'm gonna grab this shade, this is Embark. Okay, so we're just gonna come back to the eyes. I'm just going to apply some brow gel. Just using the brow freeze and I'm just pushing my brows up. I'm gonna use this Radiance Primer from RMS. Boosting Radiance, this is fabulous. We're gonna be using the Westman Atelier Vital Skincare Complexion Drops. A couple drops like this. You don't need a lot. My Barrier Restore Cream from Rode. I feel like this is what she's been doing a lot with um, her makeup artists is like mixing in her products with some of the skincare. And then I'm just gonna start in the center of the face and then move outwards. And this foundation, I've been loving it. I got it during the Sephora holiday friends and family sale. And oh my gosh, I've been using it every single time I like go out or if I'm filming. It's become one of my favorite foundations for sure. Take my beauty blender, press everything in. 
Okay, I'm gonna go in with the Kosas Concealer. In number six. And then I'm just gonna press this in. I'm gonna use a little bit of this Mario contour. Now I'm gonna use a little bit of setting powder from Laura Mercier. I'm actually gonna take my puff set underneath the eyes. The hard part is going to figure out the blush color that she's using. And it looks like she's using something very berry. I wanna use this mood one from Merit, which I feel like is kind of her vibe. Start with my fingers just to warm the product up. She seems to just sort of focus it right here. I'm gonna use this highlighting stick from Last Minute Atelier and lit up. It's called lit up. <laughs> okay, so I found this blush. It's called Oh She's Different from Patrick Ta. It's very berry. I would just put this right on the apples right here. Nose. I'm using the Tower 28 blush. I mean, mascara. Okay, I'm just gonna fix the tail part of my brow right here. Lip-wise, this is the shade Nutmeg Ganache from MAC. It is this really pretty dark chocolate brown. took like a brush like this and I just took a little bit of this bright pink to really emphasize that berry color and then I took a little bit of that hot pink on a brush like this and I just dabbed a little bit right to the outer corner because I wanted it to like subtly have like that flush. I just took my beauty blender and then I just went right underneath help clean up and then I just threw my hair up because the picture her hair is up like this and that's it I mean it doesn't look exactly the same but this look was very much inspired by her so I'll put my side by side next to hers but you could just tell it's very different. You know, I'm just gonna go pick up my kid from school and carpool and then take her to gymnastics. I hope you guys enjoyed this look and if you have any other questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. Let me know if there's any looks you would like to see from me and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!